Hey guys, it's Take a Bite here with another Simu performance and stability overview. Today, I'm going to be testing the latest and greatest version of the emulator, which is 1.6.2. As usual, this new version proves to be much more stable than the last and includes many changes that are bringing Simu closer to perfect than ever. Without further ado, let's get right into our first game, which is Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8 is still one of the most stable games on Simu and really shows off how far the emulator has already come. On 1.6.2, performance is not leaps and bounds ahead of past versions, however it is definitely still a playable and enjoyable experience. FPS stayed from about 50 to 60 for me, with the occasional dip into the low 40s. As expected, there are some issues rendering shadows, and as you'll see in the gameplay, they look pretty jagged and incomplete. Sound is almost perfect, however you'll notice on some courses, the sound of lightning is very distorted and sounds like the earlier versions of Zemu. Overall, Mario Kart is still making great progress and doesn't look like it's going to be slowing down anytime soon. Super Smash Bros. for Wii U is definitely an improvement over 1.6.1, but that is primarily due to the fact that it wouldn't boot on 1.6.1. As expected, the game still launches with the rainbow static cutscene error, but that really doesn't have an effect on gameplay. The sound is still very glitchy throughout the game, and it seems to be playing at around half speed no matter what your FPS is. As far as performance goes, there isn't really a definitive answer for all of the situations. To start, let's take a look at a 4 person game. Throughout the game, my FPS was never really at one solid spot, but it ranged from about 25 to 45 frames, and was most consistently in the mid 30s. It wasn't ideal, but it is somewhat playable if you don't mind listening to deafening static the whole game. A 2 person battle on the other hand is a much more stable experience. Almost staying consistently at the 55 to 60 FPS range, two person battles are definitely the way to go for the time being. Besides the occasional drops to the 30s when using an item or large effect, the 1v1s are playable for the most part, but still have the audio glitches found throughout the whole game. It's also worth noting that at the end of the battle, when loading to select a new character, it seems that there is either an infinite loading screen or an extremely long one. Despite the flaws, Super Smash Bros is making some excellent progress and the main thing holding it back right now is the low FPS and audio issues. Super Mario Maker has been extremely stable for the last couple versions, and remains to be probably the most stable game on Simu right now. It almost consistently maintains a solid 60 frames per second, and very rarely dips into the 30s for less than a second, only because it is loading a new asset that hasn't been cached yet. There isn't really much else to say about Super Mario Maker besides that it is very playable and one of the best titles on Simu. Next up is New Super Mario Bros. U, along with New Super Luigi U. The performance with both of these games is identical, mainly due to the fact that Luigi U is just a standalone DLC for Mario Bros. If you watched my video on 1.6.1, I was unable to get Mario Bros. to launch, and I wasn't 100% sure why. Well, thanks to your guys' help in the comments, I was able to find the files I needed to run the game properly, and the performance is great. The FPS is almost consistently 60, besides the minor expected drops here and there. I didn't notice any graphical glitches, and I experienced zero crashes. For the most part, any Mario game on Simu right now has great performance, and you shouldn't have any trouble playing any of these titles. Super Mario 3D World also runs extremely well on Simu 1.6.2. The frame rate was at an extremely consistent 60, and very rarely had a drop in frames. Throughout my playthrough, I didn't run into any graphical glitches besides the normal shading errors and didn't experience any crashes. The stability seems far improved from 1.6.1 and seems to be very playable at this point. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker runs great on 1.6.2. Staying almost consistently at 60 FPS, the game shows no graphical issues from what I can tell and very rarely has frame drops. Treasure Tracker is a great example of how well Simu has already progressed and is definitely playable on 1.6.2. Yoshi's Woolly World is one of the worst performing games I've tested so far on Simu. Although it is necessary in almost every game, trying to play Yoshi before doing a run through to cache the game is nearly unplayable. However, after caching, 
the game manages to stay close to 60 FPS in gameplay, but seems to be running at a capped 30 in the menus. Also, Woolly World is victim to a crashing error that is very crucial to the gameplay. When attempting to pull on black yarn in some parts of the game, you will immediately crash right after. For my gameplay, it did not stop me from finishing any courses, but it could prove to be more important later in the game. Along with these issues, Woolly World has some strange geometric glitches leaving misshaped artifacting on the screen, but it never really stopped the game from being playable. Woolly World still has quite a while to go, but it is off to a promising start. New on the list today is Pokken Tournament. Sadly, there isn't much to show. Unless you are brought great fun by the autosave prompt, 1.6.2 is still not able to run any Pokken Tournament gameplay. On the bright side though, the game does show you the starting screen, however it is followed by an eternal black loading screen. As far as I know, Simo has not been able to get past this point, and when it has loaded the autosave prompt, it is very glitchy. Although it's not much, progress is progress and it can only get better from here. Next on the list is Splatoon, which has proved itself to be one of the most fun and inventive shooters in recent memory. Splatoon manages to stay near the 60fps mark when running stable, however, expect occasional frame drops into the 30s and 20s. Since Simu doesn't have any online capabilities yet, the gameplay features are somewhat limited. However, if playing through the campaign, it is an enjoyable experience and for the most part very playable. On 1.6.2, the performance in Wind Waker seems to be far improved and stays very close to the 30fps lock. However, despite the improved performance, the game is still plagued with crashes. If you saw my video on 1.6.1, the game would crash as soon as you got into the first fight in the woods. I was hoping this would no longer be an issue, but sadly, the game still crashes at this point. Also, to a far smaller extent, there is a constant low battery warning in the lower right HUD. The progress on Wind Waker looks promising, but it is unplayable right now due to the current crashes. Simu 1.6.2 is a definite improvement over 1.6.1, and Team Simu is continuing to make the emulator even better than ever. Every title I tested had an improvement or speed up, and it is bringing the emulation to be the most accurate it has been so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please leave a like or press that other button to show what you thought. Also, please consider subscribing to help this channel grow. I haven't fully decided if I'm going to continue making these videos for every Simu version or just major releases. I'd love hearing what you guys think in the comments below. That's all for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.